and happy Monday. It's a new week and we are starting the week with quite a busy morning. Uh, so if you followed last week's vlog, you will know that yesterday we brought a lot of stuff down from the attic to list stuff for sale on Gumtree. Um, I had a really strange experience yesterday, which uh, I have now the confirmation uh, is a scam. So I will tell you about that in a second, but first I'll tell you a bit about the morning because I won't be able to vlog. I'm going to drop one off in school and then my car is filled with stuff for the recycling centre. We have a lot of clothes to donate and um, some um, a lot of stuff to dump, basically. We're only selling uh in everything we have a lot of the good clothes like i have this this is for one of my friends coming to collect it i have another bag of clothes there which is zero to three months they are really really good clothes that have barely been worn and i would like to send them to somebody um so i've posted a few uh messages in the planner groups i'm in somebody who's having a baby you know to help uh but yeah we have Stuff to donate, stuff to dump. Uh, there are stuff like we have a small, you know, small carry car seat that you get like from newborn. We had it for Owen and we had it for Alfie. You're not already supposed to use it for two children. I don't feel okay to give it to charity because it's not safe. My children are crying. I don't know why. What is it? Okay, <laughs> answer. What is it? He wants to get up on the radiator, but he's too small. Typical Alfie. Anyway, so uh, stuff are going to the dump because I don't feel okay um, giving to charity any equipment that would be unsafe. Some of the stuff that are being worn but are still safe are fine, but then all the stuff that are in really good condition I am selling because we did spend a lot of money on these and it will help us to pay for Christmas and <laughs> also to get a few things we need for the house. So I did sell. Fingers crossed, the lady's coming to pick it up this morning. A buggy, uh, which is this one. We have three buggies. We have this one, which is probably not ours anymore. I have a twin buggy, which is from when I was chain minding, which is in perfect condition. It's been used like two months. And then we are keeping this one for Alfie for now. Uh, it doesn't use the buggies that much, but at least this one's a bit bigger, so he can still fit in it okay. Um, so we're keeping this one for now, and then it would be dumped because it's the same. Like one of the wheels is not good um it's, it's just not working properly anymore um so for us because we know what's broken in it is fine but if it was donated to somebody i wouldn't feel okay with that so uh, i'm only donating stuff that i'm good working order at least or safe let's say um then we also brought our halloween decorations down in those boxes i do want to get a few more bits and pieces this year i try to add to this a little bit every year but uh, i'm going to be putting them up Probably throughout the week and by the end of the weekend I'm hoping to have everything up and yes yeah, so it's gonna be a busy morning I probably won't be vlogging much until either later on today or tomorrow because it's busy I have yeah people coming to collect stuff that I've sold my friend Therese is coming over with her daughter for a while then some friends coming to collect stuff that I'm donating to them so a lot of coming and going um, so I'll catch up with you later on. Good morning, it's Tuesday and I didn't finish vlogging at the end the end. Um, it is probably about half eight or something like this. Quite past eight. We've just brought Owen, Owen, James to the train station. And both boys have school today, so I have Alfie dressed. Owen is finishing his breakfast and getting dressed. I am dressed, I just need a brow on. Brows. Why can somebody make one that makes you look very nice and that is also super comfortable why um anyway um i have a busy day today again uh, there is another person coming to collect some baby stuff um yesterday i had an interesting thing um some like usually when people buy second hand and i don't mind at all people usually ask uh, would you do it for a little cheaper and that's absolutely fine i probably would do the same uh, or even make an offer a little bit lower or something like yesterday for the buggy i had set it at 80 pounds and the woman asked me would you let it go for 60 pounds and i said no not 60 for sure i would leave it for, i would let it give it to you for 70 which is what happened and that was great and then the jumper today i had it for 40 and lowered it to 35 so, you know i don't mind at all i usually set my prices 
with that in mind so I put it slightly more than one I would want for it um, just for that reason sorry I see, oh, I'm gonna show you what's going his leg is stuck in there I see why do you always do things like this there sit down on your bum then it doesn't happen it's just playing with his house there yeah I see the monkey anyway the twin buggy we have, we paid uh, 295 pounds for a few years ago. It's been used for three months and it is in impeccable state. Um, since that has been sitting folded in storage, not been used. So it's in it's in literally perfect condition. I am selling it for 120 pounds, which is really really cheap for that type of buggy for um, the amount of views it had and the state it's in. Yesterday I got a message from somebody saying can you, uh, hello is this still available, would you take 50 pounds for it? Like uh, no, I can't take 50 pounds because um, I have paid close to 300 pounds for this and it's in very good condition and her reply was but I only have 50 pounds. Well tough, then you're just gonna have to find another one because it's like me going to Tesco's, arriving at the till saying, hi, I'm buying all this. And then being told, this is 120 pounds. And I said, oh, but I only have 50 pounds. You wouldn't do that. <laughs> so I've just responded that I was trying to fund things and I wanted that amount of money and I was not ready to go any lower. And I wish them good luck to find a double buggy uh, for 50 pounds, basically. Uh, anyway. I am hoping uh, that we have a few more things. I have quite a few things going in the rest of the week. We have officially funded Alfie's mattress, which is great. So I'm happy. It means we can collect it. We don't have to wait for Jeff to be paid to get it. Um, and it just makes me feel really good about. I had been storing all the things, thinking if we have another child, we'll need all this and all that. And letting go of it is kind of accepting the fact that they will more than likely not be anymore very highly likely not be anymore yeah. um but and i was thinking the all this is taking up we literally emptied half of the attic our attic is not that big but it makes so much more space to store stuff we really need and it means i have an excuse now to be able to buy more halloween and christmas decorations because we have more room right back from swimming anyone has something to tell you now I do not have advice. Today I got four advice. No, pardon, not for armbands. For this. Oh yeah, this. Uh -huh. And then. And then she takes away one of them. So how many discs do you have on each arm now? Three. But the last, as the, the go after she takes away one, she didn't take away any. Yeah, but you went, you went, uh, you went up two levels there in one go. What do you mean? But you were at the armband level, and then you went up to the four disc level, and then you went up to the three disc level. So how I to be three levels? Yeah, you've got. In you've the got actual swimming. Today, you've, well, you've not completed. Le you you completed two. You completed the armband level, and you completed the four disc level, and now you're on so the. So is the level for Dad class are the level for the swimming thing. I don't know, is there levels for dance class too? Dad class? Yeah, is there a level for dance class? No. But you just said for dance class? I meant for swimming. Oh. No, but that's, I'm just explaining the level for the armbands. It's not really a level, but oh. you can call it like that if you want. Yeah. Are you happy? Dad. Good morning. Happy Wednesday. I've just brought the boys to school. It's about 10 to 10. I have an hour to myself and I really, really, really need to do some editing. Um, I have not edited the weekly vlog from last week yet. Uh, editing a weekly vlog takes much longer than daily vlogs, obviously, because there's, there's a lot more footage. But um, this week so far, like the weekend was really busy, so the early of this, like the first few days of this week were very busy too, because things I didn't get done during the weekend I had to do then. 
and it's been busy in general anyway so uh, I'm gonna try and get it done or at least do as much as I can while I don't have anybody here while I'm having a little hot chocolate uh, it's getting colder outside and I'm liking this I I can't wait to wear scarves and hats and gloves and all that I'm really looking forward to this so um, this morning I had a bit of bad news uh, which I was kind of expecting um, a week ago my sister um, in charge honey uh, she plays volleyball and uh, she did a smash and landed badly and she was um, rushed to hospital because of the state she was in and um, she had x-rays and stuff and uh, didn't show much but they knew there was more so they sent her for an MRI she had yesterday and she just got the results and it hurts that bad because she has sectioned her ligaments in her knee <laughs> that would explain it um, so she was meant to come for Halloween and it's not going to happen I mean let's be real she does need surgery more than likely she sings a specialist this afternoon but even if she does have the surgery before that um, the recovery time to completely recover from this is about six months uh, the problem for her is that she's a physio and she also plays volleyball so that's kind of really annoying for her it's gonna make her life uh, very different for the next few months um, so yeah I feel equally as sad that I won't see her for a while than for what's happening to her Owen is absolutely gutted but I prefer to tell him because He's been talking about it all the time that she was coming, how many days before she's coming and all, and I don't want to lie to him now that I know this, so I thought I'll just try and then tell him now and then get the focus on the exciting stuff we're going to do in the next few weeks. So um, I thought it was better this way, the earlier the better, so then he can get over it by the time Halloween comes and uh, yeah. She will visit us later on, but uh, it's just not right for her to travel <laughs> with an injury like this. So... Um, yeah, very, I'm gutted because I was really, really looking forward to having her here for Halloween. She's never been here for, the, for that time, so it would have been nice. But it's not it's not right, so uh, we'll just postpone. It's not meant to be. Uh, I wish she wasn't in pain and she could continue her normal life and all that, but um, that's life, isn't it? So that was the bad news of the day, but um, I'll not let that dampen my general feeling of positivity at the moment I kind of feel very positive um I don't know uh, I don't know how deep I want to go into this but um I have when I decided to sell the baby stuff and all that it was a big step for me it was kind of turning the closing the door of baby stuff and now that I'm doing it and I see the stuff going gradually I can see the children is going to I can see the the bellies that the pregnant bumps of the moms who are coming to pick up stuff for their future baby and all that it makes me really happy and it also make things a lot easier and less stressful for us to pay for Christmas and to be able to buy stuff for Alfie for his room for him to become a bigger boy and you know it's kind of saying goodbye to that baby stage we also brought the potty down you know we're getting to the stage where we're helping Alfie to grow up we know he needs to be potty trained by September next year to go to school but we're not in a rush we're just going to make it available for him and see what happens uh, when I'm not going to train him I'm going to try and do it as I did with Owen, just make him aware of things and then try and let him do his own thing and whenever I think he's ready just take the nappy off and do a lot of cleaning and washing. <laughs> so yeah, uh, anyway I'm taking time to do my vlog there so I am going to go on and um, yeah I'll keep you updated on the rest of the day. I'm expecting some really exciting parcels so I will show you when they arrive. So I told you I would get quite a few uh, deliveries today. The first one arrived from Amazon. Um, I have another little Amazon one coming later on, but it's being delivered by uh, Royal Mail over uh, Amazon Logistics or whatever it's called. Uh, I'm missing part of my order, which is arriving tomorrow, but it's similar to what I have, so I will show you. So these are presents <coughs> for my friends Therese's girls. Uh, Tilda, her youngest, is going to be two in February and she's getting a baby doll. So we got her a buggy for her baby, uh, which... She didn't have any, so I thought with Tres would be a good idea. So this is the one we got. And then her daughters, um, her older, older daughters are um, uh, nine, nine, yes, nine, and the other one is going to be seven in November. And I got them each. Um, so this is one of the things I got. This is for one of the girls, and the other girl is getting the same, but just different versions. So this one I got. Are they like Shopkins? 
and they don't have many yet so for one of them i got the flower stand and i got them each a mega pack with 20 shopkins and the other one i got a different mega pack and um the ice cream shop so they each get two sets and that's the present started so i'm excited because i'm officially started shopping for christmas and i got the girl started next delivery is this um mia um, teresa's middle daughter is also having her birthday in november and i got this one when uh she was there when i received it from my sisters for my birthday and she loved it and i promised her that if she was being good i would get her one for her birthday so this is hers i had also got her she does uh, love to draw so whenever i was in france um well, there's a lot more choice in terms of markers and like kids um stationery whenever you're in france and like art supplies and stuff so i bought her some like a selection of markers and um pencils and stuff like that whenever we are over so this is kind of the other half i'm not going blurry sorry the light is changing a lot there um so i got her selection then which i've saved since and this is the second part of her birthday presents so that's for the girls that's birthday presents for this year sorted and um christmas as well good morning and happy thursday and we'll start the little the vlog with a rant uh there's one thing I hate well there's a lot of things I hate but there's one thing I hate it's incompetence in people when they do their job uh, when it is ridiculously incompetent last night I received a voicemail from the surgery when I was driving um, to go and get James from the, the GP surgery to ask me to phone them back tomorrow so today to make an appointment for Alfie to get his free vaccine so I just came home and I phoned them saying hello I'm phoning back because I got a voicemail saying I needed to phone back to make an appointment and I'm being told well that's not possible so I said well I, I did get a voicemail saying this which is why I'm phoning back so if it's not possible I know he's due to get his vaccine this year what am I supposed to do you will have to wait until you get a letter I said, but then why did I receive a phone call telling me to phone today I don't know who phoned, so I gave them the name of the person who introduced themselves in the voicemail. And I said, yes, she fo she works here. And I said, well, could you double check with her, maybe? Um, she's not here today. Okay. When is she back? Will she be back tomorrow? I don't know. Okay. So what do I do about the flu vaccine? I say, hold on a minute. So the woman comes off. She doesn't put me on hold. She, I can just hear the whole conversation where she is basically talking like if i was stupid now what annoys me is that depending on who i get in the surgery as a receptionist there are two of them who clearly when they hear an accent pretend that i can't speak properly english or pretend that they can't hear me when the other two are absolutely fine so how are these two completely fine when the other two are not i know i have an accent but i don't really think i'm that hard to understand um, I know it's on the phone so it makes it more complicated but I do believe that my English is kind of okay so yeah I put it down to lack of effort from somebody who can't be bothered in the end she was told you just book the appointment as you've been told and she booked it but it took 10 minutes on the phone to book an appointment we could have taken one minute so that's my little round over I just got another phone call from the surgery phoning back to cancel the appointment they had given me and apologizing for the way they dealt with it because they were just not made aware that they had to be booked from today <sighs> i'll just um, at least i'm satisfied now that they apologized about the way they dealt with it because it was ridiculous and it really made me annoyed my period started today so it's not <laughs> it's not the best day to deal with things like that for me I'm not very patient today. So I'm gonna get stuck into work. I have about 40 minutes before I need to go and get out of here, so I'm gonna try and get as much done. And this afternoon, there is a lady coming over to have a look at the double buggy because she's interested in it, but she wants to see it first in person, which I was surprised other people didn't ask that because I know if I was buying like a buggy or something, I would definitely say before I take it, uh, can I see it and then decide? And uh, she's doing that, so 
makes me think she's serious about it and we'll see fingers crossed we would have it sold as the the kind of the biggest item we have um value was wise to sell so that would be good and also it takes room and that would be good to free some room um i'm gonna get stuck in work and i'll probably see you tomorrow because uh the rest of the day is gonna be quite busy see you then good morning and happy friday i probably look like i'm looking in the wrong place and sound different and look different because i'm on my phone currently uh typically the day that i have something to show you that is interesting my camera is missing. I have no idea where it is. I cannot find it. And um, I probably put it in a safe place yesterday. And I can't find that safe place. Anyway, I have a little Halloween decoration haul to show you. I went to the shops this morning. Uh, uh, so I'm going to show you everything, give you the prices and which shop I got it in. So I'm going to turn the camera around. So first I went to Asda and I got... I've been drooling over the HomeSense sparkly pumpkins. Thank you, Emma and Louise, in your vlogs for making people want them. Except that I live in Northern Ireland and and, and, and home sense doesn't exist here. So I find a kind of compromise. It's a polystyrene one, but at least as that provided a sparkly pumpkin as well as two mini sparkly pumpkins. So I have my sparkly pumpkins. Then I got some of these um, like battery power tea lights. I do prefer to put that in the pumpkins on my doorstep because there's been quite a few children burned because their costume caught on fire with real fire so I always prefer to use these. And then we're having a little Halloween party so I got in Asda some little bowls, some napkins, some plates and some caps and I just got this little, uh, it's like a little kind of zombie girl, I don't know what she is exactly. But a witch, maybe I should take a witchy kind of girl. Yeah, she's a witch. That should be simple, but I can't really see the hat very well there. Um, it probably won't last very long, but it was only a pound, and um, I just thought it would be nice to decorate. I like to use non spooky stuff, more like the cutesy side of stuff, because I have children who get scared. Well, actually, it doesn't care, but always get scared easily, and even myself, I prefer. I love to decorate for Halloween, but I don't really like the super scary stuff too much. Uh, so the napkins were one pound, the bowls were one pound, the packets of plates were one pound each, this was one pound, this was one pound, the small little pumpkin was one pound each, this was four pounds, and this was two pounds. So that wasn't too bad at all. Then I went to B&M. I love to go to B&M for lights because their lights are always um, quite cheap. And I've had some for four years that are still good, so good. So I got an orange Halloween curtain light. So this one, you hang it above the window and just like lights draping down. And then I got this for my fireplace. It's like a, a little gauze garland thing and it has lights in it. So I wanted to use that for going on fireplace or maybe on the to do that unit I have there on the top shelf. I don't know yet. And then some of my friends showed me this that they bought yesterday and I had to get it. A witch lives here, careful. She will put trespassers in her cauldron. Um, this was 2 49 Those lights were 3 99 and those were 3 99 as well. Uh, there was not too much. Now, I live in Northern Ireland, so this is not as much as in the mainland usually for stuff, but... Uh, I did not find anything at all in Poundland and Pound World, but as usual, Sainsbury's did not disappoint. Uh, last year, I had a sign which I got in the pound shop, which got snapped in the wind. So I was I wanted to get some exterior uh, decoration that would be a bit more sturdy, and this is exactly the style I love. And I love to decorate with those kind of. Do you know they are like uh, gel window clings, that's the actual name. I had bought some in the pound shop a few years ago and I had to throw a lot out last year because the one from the pound shop, they do tend to eventually melt or and stick to the window and become really gooey and unusable. But I have some that I've had for three years from Sainsbury's which haven't budged and are great. So I got the skeleton, which is the same as this one. I got a witch and I love that their witch has glasses. And I got a little... Um, Frankenstein's monster or whatever it's meant to be. 
so I don't know. Uh, so yeah, that's my extra Halloween decorations for this year, and I will show you what I already had when I've put, I'm putting everything up. Probably this afternoon, maybe some more at the weekend. Last, I went to uh, TK Maxx and didn't find any Halloween stuff because everything was gone. But I got this little cute. It's like a jar with a little Santa and you can put a tea light on top and it was only $4.99. I was very glad. I'm actually going to take it out because, I mean, you need to put it all together. But it's quite a decent size and I love that there is a candle thing on, on it but it's decorated. I love that. So this is the state of my kitchen right now. <laughs> well, the bench. Um, I still have some of the sticky stuff from last year that I thought I had thrown out already but I hadn't. So I'm going to go through like all the glittery stuff. I'm not sticky anymore at all, so I know these are going to be in the bin, but I had mixed the sets. Some of them are still good, some of them are not, I need to go through. I know these ones, for example, are they are the Saints Braid one. We'll go through everything, and then I have a feeling I bought this guy last year, but that's definitely still good. So I guess I have Vampire as well for my windows. I'm so excited because this guy gets to come out again. He used to be in Sainsbury's. I think it's from two years ago, maybe. Got it from Sainsbury's and as you know, gnomes and me. <laughs> There's my Halloween gnome and I have my candle from Yankee Candle. Uh, it's the candy corn one. I think it's from two years ago as well, actually. Um, I forgot to take it out completely last year, so it's there. I didn't have those boxes yet last year. I had kind of loads of different boxes and then I started to collect Halloween decorations, so I got more of the boxes like this to store everything. So now at least everything can go in a nice place. But as you can see, everything like uh, this is my little Frankenstein. Everything like this. It's kind of oh, there is one of the letters. Everything is kind of very kid friendly. And this go in the. I usually put these in the window quite a few of them um, and this is the one for I only take it out uh, at <coughs> on Halloween night well on Halloween day as well um, this is from Sainsbury's as well two years ago I think and there is this because we run out most years apart from last year I made too much and at least the kids know that once the sign is up they can come and knock on the door. These I got last year, I think it was in B&M, yeah, it was in B&M and I never even opened them because I was planning to put them in my office for background for filming and it never happened so they're still in the box but now that I have this guy over there to fill I have a lot more space I can decorate in the living room. Good morning and happy Saturday. Um, I look very rough this morning and I do feel very rough too. Alfie and I have had a stomach bug since yesterday. Um, it's getting better for both of us, but it's still not great. As long as I do not eat anything, I don't throw up anymore. So that's something, I guess. Um, I'm currently sitting at the car park where Owen has dance class. I'm waiting here for the hour. He's there because it's a lot of driving around if we're just going back and forth. So I have downloaded uh, the episode 4 of Outlander and I'm going to watch it in the meantime. Um, yeah, and Alfie has just the worst nappies and it has nappies like every 15 minutes. It's ridiculous. So uh, this weekend will involve a lot of rest for all of us. I've managed to finish my orders this morning and post them all out there. It's handy this place because it's at a petrol station. Um, so I can actually post my orders when I'm here. I can um buy stuff like i was able to buy bread and my friend at the minute whenever i don't uh, feel well and i've been i'm being sick a lot there's one thing that i'm usually able to stomach it's this and last night i finished that so <laughs> i just came to buy some smash um and yeah um, i'm looking forward to be home i wouldn't have brought him i would have skipped it today if it wasn't for the fact he's not going next week um, I just didn't want him to miss two weeks in a row, so that's why I thought I would push through and brave it. But I'll be glad to find my bed probably when we get home. So I'm gonna just get through this hour, go home and rest. Do you know the way a few weeks ago Alfie uh, slammed the blinds on me? Did I say that? Yeah. And cut my head open? <laughs> James's version of it. See, this camera never picks up. Can you see this? Oh, you can. Yes, you can. Okay. 
uh, he, he jumped off the armrest and had butter oh, nice. chains and uh, yeah it's swollen and it's going it's turning blue it's gonna be interesting good morning and happy Sunday I'm starting the day well it's probably about 11 or something yeah 5 to 11 starting the day in my office I am finally going to set up my little uh, shells to put above this one to put the pop figures on um, I haven't done much this morning I rested in bed Alfie still is great, like he's feeling good, but symptoms are still there. I'm still not feeling the best. So we're having a day at home. I want to try and do quite a few things around the house today. And Alfie's in it, going Nino, Nino, and he's including tidying up this desk so I can work a bit more tonight and hopefully a bit tomorrow. Although Owen doesn't have school tomorrow, so I don't think there's going to be much work happening. Um, Yes, yeah, so I'm going to set up the shelves and I'll show you once it's all up. So this is the result. I still have um, enough to put two more shelves. But I have another set of two to put another layer. So if I get any for Christmas, for example, or buy any more, at least I'll be able to put them up. But I need to get some more. I'm using some of the um, quite a few command brand um, uh, picture hanging. This is the big ones I'm using. Strips and I've put some at the back. I don't want to put anything in the wall yet. This one is fit with screws, but then I might move the stuff around on the wall later on. So I thought for now, because I'm not putting anything heavy on them, I'm just going to use these for now so I can easily move things around and I don't have enough to fit the second shelf. So because I wouldn't have anything on it just yet anyway, I'm just going to keep it aside for whenever I get more. And there was holes for the screws at the bottom I didn't like. So I've put washi tape and then I've put washi tape along there, which is the same I had already on there. I'm currently in the process of making a new storage system for my uh, stickers I have in stock. I usually make everything to order, but because on some sheets it cuts four sheets for me and some two, I always have some left over, so I'm keeping them um, to have, you know, whenever people order. And I was storing them in this big binder here. But it's not practical, it's overflowing, it's not easy to find stuff, I can't get enough dividers. So I bought those tabs from... Um, I don't know they are tabs like this that slot onto um, like the card like this. So I just thought I would get that, but I have run out of... I have a packet of A5 card stock like this, and I used it all up and I still need two packets to finish everything. Uh, I will have enough tabs to finish what I have, but I've or I'm going to order more for when I get more stock in because there will be more kids coming, especially with Christmas and all that. So yeah, this should be pretty much filled once I'm done, but I'm probably going to go to Easton's in the afternoon to um, get this finished. It means I was able to free the top here, um, those, this, so I can kind of separate things better, and this is like kind of my work thing that's far better organized now. Okay, do you remember what the way I put my shelf up with command brand big velcro thingy things? Don't do that with the IKEA picture ledge, it's too heavy. Everything just collapsed on me. So yeah, it's good for me. Uh, the only damage there is is one of my dolls. This one lost one of her pigtails but it's a clean cut so I can stick it back on. I uh, hurt my thumb but apart from that I'm good. Uh, I've put one up with the traditional way with um, plugs and screws in the wall. Pierce the holes for the plugs there and uh, I don't have matching. I have a whole selection of screws and plugs but I don't have matching ones, so I won't be able to put the second shelf up for now. I'm just going to order some for tomorrow. I'm probably going to have to make those holes slightly bigger then. And yeah, so it's just a matter of time now to get everything. I had ticked that off my to-do list and this is all the leftover. So yeah, that's what gets fixed eventually. All my figures are here. At least these are plastic so they don't break. I was in the middle of finishing off my storage system there. I went to Easton's to do it and it just, nothing is going to plan today. 
I've decided not to work because I'm wrecked and I need to rest. So I thought I would do things to know that I can do while watching TV shows and like resting kind of at the same time. And I am. But my achievements have been destroyed. So <laughs> yeah, it's not really fun. I'm feeling a bit sorry for myself today. <laughs> I'm actually gonna stop the vlog here because it is almost six o'clock and we're gonna get the base the beds to the beds, the boys to bed uh, and I'm going to watch the X Factor tonight um, and tomorrow Owen doesn't have school we are meant to go and pick up at his mattress in Ikea but the whole week of next week is going to be um, kind of um, there's a lot of we know some things are going to happen we don't know yet on which days and I will talk about that later on in the next vlog but next week is kind of we don't know exactly when things are going to happen, so everything is going to be kind of decided on the day. But tomorrow, for sure, Owen doesn't have school and Alfie doesn't either, so we can have a pyjamas day. If Alfie, Alfie's nappies are still horrible. It's taking uh, quite a few days to like, cut down all the milk and everything. Uh, I'm feeling much better today. I'm still drained and my skin is awful. I'm probably quite dehydrated, but I'm able to eat little bits. So that's good. Um, yeah, that's the end of the vlog. Sorry, it's not a really happy ending, but it will get better tomorrow. So <laughs> see you next week. Bye.